Good afternoon, everyone. This is one honey bell, and how are you doing today? I hope you're doing good, and I hope your family is doing good. My family is doing good. And today you're wondering what is this? What is this one honey bell is making today? <laughs> well, I'm making some tripe. I bought this tripe in Publix. Yes, Publix sell tripe. This they call this the honeycomb. If you look, it look if you know honeycomb, it looks like honeycomb. Look good. And I'm going to wash this, cut it up and wash it in some lime, lemon and some vinegar. And then I'm going to cut it small. And I'm, I'm going to cook it. I'm, I think I'm going to use my instant pot. You can use your pressure cooker or you can use your, your normal pot and cook it until it's tender uh, or you can use your um your pressure cooker but i choose to use my instant pot you know we have to be social distancing now and i choose to cook this today if you look my nails they want to really do but right now we cannot go out and do no nails because of what's going on with this virus but nevertheless we thank god for sparing our lives and we have to eat right so i'm cooking something special that my husband like and this is tripe yeah so hi everyone welcome back to one honey bell kitchen please remember to subscribe and like to my channel I would appreciate that and for those of you who have subscribed I tell you I really appreciate you I appreciate the love and for those of you who have not subscribed you know I would appreciate if you do um, come and join us so and hit that notification bell so that you can see everything that we cook and how we do it so you can make nice delicious meals for your family too so i just want i told you i'm making my tripe this is it i wash it right and with um lemon and um, vinegar this is scallion i put a little bit of celery you don't have to it's optional hot pepper garlic curry powder italian seasoning onion powder i put a little bit of ginger ginger i put one clove of garlic onion i put an onion and bell pepper i um garlic is very good for you you know so good for a lot of things if you google it you'll see and i use this to squash it so it's easy for me to shell if you use something or a bottle, whatever you have, to squash it and it's easier for you. And then you can also, you know, use one of those instruments to, to crush it and squeeze it out. Or you can just squash it with this. That's the garlic we're talking about now. And uh, you can use this to put it in here and just squeeze it and get your garlic small crushed you don't have to do that you can use a bottle and whatever you have and cut it with your knife it's all good so as i go and season up and cook in my meal i show you i like to season my meat overnight so that's what i'm doing so I show you what's going on in one honey belly kitchen. Yes. Yes, friends. So welcome back to one honey bell. So this is my season. I season my tripe and I'm just using because it's curry. I don't want even want to put on a glove. You can put on a glove and mix up your curry. Cause you know, sometimes it's hard to come off of your finger. 
and so I'm using a big fork to just season it up today and um, sometimes I use my hands it's okay but most time when it's curry I use some you know like a fork so I put in all my seasoning and I add some salt I didn't tell you guys salt and I'm gonna season it for overnight you don't have to do it overnight but I choose to so as I go on cooking I'll show you what's going on in my kitchen one honey bell kitchen yes hello my friends so this is how I, I season my tripe overnight so it's well soaked the season is well soaked in and now I'm gonna put it in my instant pot as I told you before you can put it in a pressure cooker or just a normal pot and cook it until it's soft so I'll show you later what's going on in one honey bell kitchen yes so my tripe is in my instant pot I put about three cups of water um, you don't want too much water when you put it in your in, in some pot if you look you can barely see I don't cover everything with the water it's right there but it will be okay and um, as I say you can cook it in your other pot you know you have to let it tender and then I put some white potato sometimes we call it Irish white potato here it is and some carrots on it um, because this will cook and get and get soft and then I'll put um, I don't have to maybe use any cornstarch to get it thick because this will get soft and cook and you know mashed out and then I'll get my nice gravy but um, I show you as I go on what's going on with my tripe. So I'm gonna I'm what I'm gonna put it on pressure cooker. And Hi, welcome back! Welcome back to One Hundred Bell. Yes. So I finish with my try in my instant pot so i put it in my instant pot for 45 minutes now i'm gonna i told you i cook it down with the carrots and my potato white potato or irish and it's thick so i don't have to add any cornstarch to this if you look good this is a try here's it so nice how good is it um, let me show you what a nice piece this is how it looks and um, I'm gonna add my butter bean now to it because nothing tastes uh, tastes good when you're stewing like without your butter bean like this need butter bean and this is how it looks And if you cook this in a normal pressure cooker, you can also give it 45 minutes on the stove without pressure cooker, instant pot, it's like an hour. And this is ready to be served with your white rice or your bulgur. You know, I like healthy grains, so I have my bulgur over here. And I have my broccoli steaming, my broccoli and my cauliflower steaming in my instant pot. So subscribe and like to our videos. Subscribe and like to videos and follow us on Instagram. Bye.